Good evening and welcome to Neuraxium Theater Presents How to Find the Brachial Plexus in the Interscaling Space The Really Easy Way And now, our show We'll start right off by using a lot of ultrasound gel In order to find the interscaling space we're going to start in the supraclavicular You see here the uh, clavicle the line of the sternocleidomastoid We're going to go right behind the clavicle and let the probe nestle right there. Immediately we see the subclavian artery with the brachial plexus sitting above and behind. The bright line below the artery is the first rib. Now we'll move the probe proximally along the line of the brachial plexus, stopping along the way to note the change in the configuration of the nerves. We see the nerves here have changed from a cluster to a stack. This is because they're passing between the scalene muscles. Our view of the artery changes as we follow it back toward its source. Now we're at a low interscalene view and the nerve trunks in their sheath are pressed into a stack between the two scalene muscles. Now without stopping we'll perform the same scan at normal speed. Let your eyes pick out and follow the progress of the brachial plexus bundle as the probe moves. When the probe is in the supraclavicular position, focus your attention on the area just above and behind the subclavian artery. Your eye will naturally follow the nerve bundle which looks sort of like a group of bubbles. If you're having trouble picking out the bundle when performing your own scans, consider moving the probe faster back and forth along the path rather than slower. Your eye will pick out the persistent structure of the bundle against the changing background. Remember that the ultrasound images you're trying to create are based on reflections and those reflections are greatly influenced by the angle of incidence to structures. So if you're not seeing what you think you should be seeing for the probe's position, try changing the angle of the probe to the body surface or rotating it slightly clockwise or counterclockwise. Also remember to keep the gain on the instrument turned low enough to give you some dark in the background picture. You'll find more structures with the gain down than up. In this demonstration, we'll now move the probe anteriorly and identify some of the structures in the front of the neck. There, we did it. I told you so. Take a good look at the structures and we'll get back to the interesting part with the brachial plexus. And uh, I'll change hands so that my big old hand isn't in the way of the scan. There. Now I'll demonstrate the same scanning technique, left-handed. What talent, huh? I could listen to myself prattle on about this technique all day, but I think I've said enough about it. I do think it's worthwhile for you to watch the rest of this video to familiarize yourself with the images. Why not do it to a background of nondescript generic music? Thank you. Here I'm showing some possible needle approaches for the block, transverse under, longitudinal, or transverse over. 